Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about the Query Builder Java or the Backend API. How you can use this API in any of the backend module to search content in repository. For this tutorial, I'll take a scenario of full text search where the user can search a text within a site or full repository. I'll show you query first and then I'll use Query Builder API to implement same search in OSGI service. Then I will be writing a sublet and I call this uh, OSGI service in this sublet and then we'll give input using the query parameter of this sublet and we'll pass on different different inputs and we'll get the result as. First let me show you the how you can implement full text using the query builder query and then we'll implement using same same search using query builder API in OSGI service. So I have opened this query builder console or debugger to search any text Full text is the predicate. You have to define say full text and whatever the text you want to search. So let me search it. So if you see that 20, uh, 273 results by default, it's a 10. So let me add P limit. So you will see here it is searching this text woman wherever it find in any of, you know, any in whole repository. So whether it's find in a page or asset or any component or anywhere in node so you will be seeing here this is a node it is fine in node and it is searching in a asset as well so wherever it is fine so to restrict that let me define so let's say the type as I told you in previous tutorial type is mandatory but for this full text search type is not mandatory and wherever it find the text it will give that node so let's say I need only pages rather than the other kind of you know nodes or assets. So I'm saying here type is equal to page so that I need only pages. Uh, I don't need anything else and the path I need it from the detail side. So I'm not using my AM geek side because I don't have enough pages and enough content there. So if you're saying now this query uh, will return you pages where on that page or in uh, it has a text called women right uh, and that page should be under v detail so that's the you can write this query uh, so i will impl now i will implement the same search in backend module in ohgi service using query builder api so to implement search in backend module first you need a query builder uh, and a query in map basically you say whatever the query it is you save in key value pair in map once you have then you will get a object query object using these two i'll explain to query and from this query you will get all the search results means final results so i'll show you how you can uh, do that in demo so as part of demo i'll write a service called search service and in this service i'll implement a whole demo and we will call this service in a sublet called geek search sublet so i have created a service called search service and in that service first i'm getting a query builder using reference annotation you will be seeing here once i have this query builder then and i'm creating a preparing a query as well basically i'm putting whatever the query i had i'm putting in a key value pair in a map it's not necessary to write a uh, method you can simply create a map and put your query inside that map so once i have that uh, query builder using that query builder you see here so here i'm getting resource resolver you know how to get resource resolver and from that resource resolver i'm getting session so important part is this so from this query builder i'm creating query using predicate inside that you have to pass this map whatever the map the query you have the query in map so right now i'm calling that method which basically returning a map means my query and the session so once i have this query object using that query i'm getting the search results once I have search result using that search results, I'm getting all the hits. Basically, each search result stored in a hit and this method will give you a list of all the search results means all the hits. So here I'm iterating all the search results means each hit. We know that we are getting the pages. So from that hit, I'm getting the resource and from resource, I'm adapting that resource to page. So once I have that page, now the whole information is available of that page. So I'm getting that title and the path. 
because this is the generic method so i need to you know return information to some other you know wherever we are calling it so i'm i'm preparing this information in json object so for what i'm doing i'm creating a parent json object and then to store the search results i'm creating a json array and each each result stored in a json object so inside a json object i'm you know keeping my page title and page path and then i'm adding that each json object in a json array and and then this json array in search you are whatever you are seeing here and then json array is you know i'm placing in a main object json object and i'm returning that json Object. So wherever I will be calling it, I will be getting a JSON object and this JSON object will be having all the information. So this is uh, my service. Now let's come to this servlet. So what I'm doing, it's a simple pathway servlet because I need to, you know, uh, just to show you. So here I'm using this at the rate reference annotation. I'm calling that my service, OHS service. And it's simply, uh, I'm calling this service and I'm calling the search method and I'm passing a text women basically which I need to search. If you will be seeing here in this query, I'm passing that result and this is the full text. So it's a dynamic. We'll make it dynamic. Okay. So let me deploy this and let me show you. So this query uh, means when I execute this sublet, when I hit this path geeks, to high, uh, geeks slash search, it should give me the 100 results. If you've seen the same query here, it is giving me 100 results. So when I hit this and uh, because uh, it should give me 100 results on browser because I'm you know returning this search result uh, by converting in a string. So when I hit that, if you see it is giving me the zero result then what can be the problem here okay. basically here the problem is not related to the query builder api problem is something else you need to understand so if you see here uh, in our service we are getting resources all over from the service user if you're not aware how i'm doing that so there's a tutorial number 26 of the same series please go back and check so if you see i'm creating that service user using acs commons and we are deploying that service user using a configuration so once let let's see the configuration so this is our configuration and let me open this so if we open a sub uh, configuration and we see the privileges so there is a privileges of read right allow read and write but the permission is for only content slash am geeks that means it the service user uh, from which we are getting that resource server only having the permission of am geeks but in this query what we are doing we are saying search from the v retail so that is the problem because the service user does not have permission so let's change this you need to understand this you can have some problem so let's remove this let's give the permission of whole content so as soon as I give the permission of whole content and I search it again, you will see it gave the 100 results, 99 is starting from 0 to 99. That means now the result is same, whatever we are getting using this query builder debugger. But the thing is, it's everything is hard coded. Let's make it flexible so that we can pass on some value from this servlet and let's implement the pagination as well. So here I'm getting the search text, page number and results per page using query uh, query parameter. So I have explained pagination in last tutorial. So let's implement that. So I'm getting the page number. So I'm and I'm just, uh, you know, decreasing one from that page number. Let's say uh, the page number is one. So this page number will be zero. And then I'm, uh, you know, uh, defining or calculating what from where this search starts. So let's say it's a page number one. So here page number will be zero and the whatever the results per page. So let's say let's say the per page results are 10 and page number is one. So if you multiply this, so results will start from zero, from zero to nine. And I modified this search result method as well. And I'm passing now the text means that whatever we want to find start results from where the result will start and how many results you need per page 
so you will be seeing here I updated this create text uh, search query as well now I'm passing this start result so basically offset so I'm defining offset and in offset I'm passing this as you know offset is the uh, uh, predicate which define from where you will start search and the p dot limit means how many results will be there per page and in this this search in search I'm defining few more things so let's say from result I'm getting hit per size that means how many results per page you have you define in query here by defining query but from this query uh, this results object you can get this information as well and I'm saying okay get me total number of the matches means total results total search and what is uh, the index means the starting of from where it is starting I mean suppose we define in offset that starting from zero so it will give zero here but all information we are getting from the results and I'm defining what how many the total page we have so it's total results by the results per page so this information will be helpful and we'll show you and this information I'm adding in my parent JSON object you will be seeing here in this object I'm adding all this information and again all the search result this array means whatever the array which has all the search result that's also I'm adding in my JSON object so now if we search now this JSON object will have all the search results as well as it will have information like how many results we have per page what are the total results from where this started and how many pages we have and in this uh, while calling this in this servlet will pass on this search text search page number means what is the page and results per page as a query parameter so let me build this so now i'm calling this servlet by passing the query parameter you will be seeing here i'm passing the search text which is women page number is means whatever the which page i need to display is five and the results per page is ten so if you see here uh, it is showing it will be the 10 pages right if we calculate total search result at 10 and in if each page has the 10 results so total pages at 10 okay so if starting results is 40 because we are searching uh, fifth page so if you calculate here fifth means uh, 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 and 10 that means 40 so fourth it is starting the fourth page and on fourth page the, the, the results starting from 40 40 to 49 now let me change a bit let me show you the first page here and let's say uh, now I need 20 results per page so if I hit here you will be seeing now the total pages are 5 and results per page is 20 and total result obviously will be same and the starting of that page means the zeroth uh, item or the search uh, result will be the starting of that page and each page will have 20 you know 0 to 19 let's say uh, I need second page so basically this is we are implementing pagination so now you will be seeing here the starting results means from where the second page start with, with the 20th means 21th result and 20th means it's starting mean based on index means zero right and it will have 20 page now let's say I'm searching women now let's say the men let's search men and so now if you see here now we have 139 results and results per page is 20 as I define here and total number of pages is 7 so if let's see let's confirm this whether it's working fine or not let's come to the query builder query debugger and let's change it if you see it's 139 results and here also it's 139 not 129 okay so that's the way how you can implement uh, search using query builder api query builder backend api and this is the way you can use that in a servlet so that later on you can you know call this servlet from anywhere wherever you need it and you can pass on this query parameter as per your need i hope you understood how you can implement the search in backend if you have any question please do comment thank you